Welcome to Ground Control and part three of the review on the Esheen Mini F4U Corsair. I wanted to put precisely 0.75 grams on the tail of this plane. I got close. Um, with the tape it is 0.74 grams. So I think that will suffice. I think that I have the CG balanced pretty well and if this works out out in the field on these two test flights I want to do this morning. When we come back after the flights I'll, I'll show you exactly um, where I'm balancing the CG on this plane, where, where I like to balance up the plane to be. I want to make sure that I get it to the point where it's it doesn't feel nose heavy, it doesn't feel tail heavy, and when I'm coming in for a landing I'm able to flare um, to bring it in you know softly to touch down because uh, on, on, the, on the first two flights, uh, before I had any counterweight on the tail, when I was descending, I, I, couldn't bring, I couldn't bring the nose up. I just wanted to keep descending until it contacted the ground when I, when I slowed, it, slowed up for a landing. So I will meet you out at the field. We'll put a couple of test flights on this and see if there's any additional adjustments we need to make to this plane before we wrap up this review. See you out at the field. Okay, I'm back out here with the Esheen Mini F4U Corsair. I have my tail weight at 0.75 grams, or excuse me, 0.74 grams. We'll see how that works out on the CG balance. Let's get it in the air. Bring it down. And we got a little bit, little bit of wind today. trim on the elevator. Oh, and we're in intermediate gyro mode. I'm on the elevator. Going into the crosswind there. Bring it back over so we can see it. Oh, guess I better set my timer, huh? <laughs> I don't know how many times I have forgotten to set my timer. Out of the sun. All right, let's see if we can do a loop with it. Oh yeah, that was a pretty nice tight loop too. Throttle back. Ah, man, that sun's on a bad spot. Hmm. Getting kind of juky coming out of the lip. Try that again. I don't know if it's the wind. That's better. I'll find out where my wind is. Yeah, I was trying to do a barrel roll there with it, but it wouldn't let me. Oh, 
I think I like this balance better. See how much tighter the loops are? I, I think I like that pretty well. down, do a rudder spin, Let's see how stable it is in the rudder spins, return to target maneuver, yeah, what I don't want it to do is, you know, when it, you get it too tail heavy and you do those return to target maneuvers, it wants to wing over. And that seems to be handling pretty well. Not bad at all. Yeah, so I think I like this balance. It feels more like a uh, neutral CG. Not nose heavy, not tail heavy, but we'll be able to tell for sure when we bring it in for a landing. I think I need to, I've got in quite a bit of down trim right now in the elevator, so I need to mechanically adjust that again. Now that I've got the CG balance and the nose is a lot lighter than it was. And any up trim on the elevator wants to push the nose up now, so. But you see how tight those loops are now that the nose is not so heavy. There's a little barrel roll. I must have got it into a crosswind there. Yeah, when it comes out of the loop, I don't know if it's these gull wings, but sometimes if it comes out of the loop and it doesn't have the wind right in front of it, it wants to dip a wing a little bit, one way over the other. I don't know if you guys have experienced that, like right there. It kind of jerked over to the right as it was coming out of the loop. Let me try that again. Oh, it didn't do it that time. So I think if you got it pointed directly in the wind, that's not a problem. But if you're coming out of a loop in a crosswind, it seems to want to dip a wing a little bit. But I like that balance a heck of a lot better. And as you can see from the from how much tighter the loops are. Look how tight those loops are now. See it dipped the wing there. But uh, and, it, and it dipped the wing in the opposite direction there. So alright, so cut off my timer. I will bring it in for a landing and we're coming in in almost a complete 90 degree crosswind. But what I want to see is, can I flare it? Oh, that wasn't very good. We're going to have to see on the next landing. <laughs> I guess my depth perception is not working very well this morning. I'm going to put it back in the air real quick and bring it around and land it. I want to make sure that I can pull the nose up on it when I'm coming in. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> wow, that's got more wind up there than I thought. Look at that. Let's see if I can bring it in right across the road into the wind. All right, so I hope you, I hope I got that on camera. But when I was coming in into the wind there, instead of a cross wind, I didn't have any problem bringing the nose up when I came in for a landing. So. 
I think that weight that I have on the tail is going to work out just fine. I'm going to put another flight on it and I'm going to mechanically trim that elevator just a little bit. I think I've got just a little positive pitch on it. It's wanting to bring the nose up, so we'll fix that and then put it back in the air. Okay, so I made the mechanical adjustment on the elevator and took the trim out of the transmitter. So I have an intermediate gyro mode again. So let's get it in the air, set my timer, and see what we have now. That looks like it's staying pretty level at cruising speed. Yeah. Nice. I think the wind kind of pushed it over there. Let's see. Yeah, it did again. I'm going to have to come into the wind. Is that where my wind is? Whoa, did you see that? It stayed inverted for a long time. That was more of a racetrack loop. I know the balance definitely feels better there. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's nose heavy. It doesn't feel like it's tail heavy. It feels like it's right there where it should be. Nice. I think that's going to do it as far as weight. Yeah. Now that loop wasn't very tight. It may have been because I had some, maybe it have been because it was slightly tail heavy before. Because it was wanting to climb a little bit. Now it seems to be holding its position straight and level pretty well, even into the wind. So I like that. When we get back, I will show you exactly where I have this balance on the CG with the 0.74 grams of weight and precisely where I have it located on the bottom of the tail of the fuselage. I hit myself. <laughs> that was interesting. I'm glad it was a micro. Alright, let's see if I did any damage. Let's get it back in the air again. Other than maybe messing up the gyro a little bit and they maybe need to recalibrate it. But, um, oh, that was interesting. I got too low and fast coming toward myself. <laughs> I think that's got it. I think that's got it as far as the balance goes. Okay, let's slow it down. Got a pretty good uh, 
pretty wide flight envelope as far as speed. I don't think that the, the slow speed is quite as good as it is on the P-51 Mustang, though. And I think that may be because of the shape of its wings. Uh, wanting to dip a wing if you slow up too much, even in intermediate gyro mode. Alright, there's my timer. Shut that off. Yeah, that's that right there is about as slow as you want to get it. I'm starting to see some wing wobble there. Okay, so let's see if we can bring it in. Yeah. Yeah, if you slow up too much, it will definitely dip a wing. Get my prop back on. Yeah, I have knocked this prop off so many times. Let's uh, let's take it around and bring it in for a landing one more time. That's a little bit difficult this morning because it is a crosswind. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I was I slowed up a little bit too much, but I was still able to hold the nose up on it. So, so I think the balance on this plane is is right where I want to have it. Um, you guys might want to experiment with that and see and um, I'll see you back at the shop and I'll tell you exactly you know where I'm balancing this plane so see you in a bit okay so um, what I ended up doing out there is I still felt like I had a slightly tail heavy condition after the first flight so I moved my counterweight forward a little bit but, um, but and I like the balance where it is now. I think where I have the balance, I think it, it's flying, it, it's flying precisely the way I want it to at 50 or 60% throttle, just cruising along. I keep the stick centered and it maintains its attitude. It doesn't, it doesn't climb and it doesn't descend. And that's what I'm looking for. And when I, when I slow down to come in for a landing, but don't slow up too much, so if you come in with adequate speed on the landing now, I'm able to flare and set it down. It's not just descending, descending, descending until it, hit, until it contacts the ground. So, so the, the CG is good on it. And, I'll, and I was flying with the 360 mil amp LiPos, which were a gram lighter than uh, the 400 mil amp LiPo. So with the 360 mil amp LiPo and the three quarters of a gram, the planes all up weight is still a quarter of a gram lighter than it was with the stock 400 milliamp battery that came with my planes. Now I've seen several posts where not everybody's getting the same capacity batteries that are shipped with these planes. Some people are getting 400, some people are getting 380s, some people are getting 360s. But I like the weight of the 360 battery the best. Now where I am balancing the plane is I'm putting my fingers right on top of where the wing spar is and and then I'm balancing it so that the plane stays nice and level balanced on the, at that point and that gives me a neutral center of gravity and I like this I like the center of gravity right there where that wing spar is that seems to work the best for me the plane handles the best that way um, I found that after I put the tail weight on it because the plane was initially nose heavy, I had to adjust the elevator trim so I had a slight bit of up elevator trim just to maintain um, level flight when it was a bit nose heavy. And that gave me more up travel on the elevator um, even with it being nose heavy. Now with, with the, the CG balanced neutrally like that, what I found was I had to take out all the previous trim, up trim that I had put on the elevator because now since it has a neutral balance and it wasn't nose heavy, that positive trim on the elevator wanted to push the nose up, making it feel slightly tail heavy. 
So once I put the elevator back into a completely neutral position, no up, upward pitch, no downward pitch, it's in line with the horizontal stabilizer, then I had a perfectly straight level attitude on the plane with the stick centered at cruising speed of 50 to 60 uh, percent throttle. So that worked out great. I found that this plane doesn't have quite the slow flight capability that the P-51 Mustang does. If you saw where I, where I was trying to see how slow I could fly it, I got to the point where I started getting a little uh, uh, wing wobble, a wing wag back and forth, and that's because it was on the verge of a tip stall. So you have to remember that when you're coming in for a landing. The other thing that I found is when you're doing maneuvers, um, especially loops, or if you're trying to do a barrel roll or something with it, you need to keep your speed up. And what I found is that the, the shape of the gold wings are not quite as stable in the air or as forgiving as a straighter wing is. So just something to be aware of. You know, you want to get your, before you do anything else, I would suggest you get your balance correct on your CG because that changes, that changes the characteristics and the handling of your control surfaces. When you're doing maneuvers with it, uh, aerobatic maneuvers with it, you want to keep your speed up. But uh, it's a very, very fun plane. I think it's another hit for me, Shane, with these little warbirds. Um, it's a little bit faster, I think, than the P-51 Mustang. Doesn't quite have the slow flight capability. Is not quite as forgiving as the P-51 Mustang. But another great little flying plane. And um, I want to hold off on my conclusion on this plane until I get the rest of my adjustments made and then go out and test it one last time. And then I'll give you my conclusion on this. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.